Hey yo, boss, and welcome back. Just when you thought things couldn't get any easier from our last video, we're gonna show you a simple side dish. This is sweet potato fries, and Chef thinks you're gonna really enjoy this recipe. It's so simple, he won't even mess it up. So let's go ahead and get cooking. So the first thing is, is you're gonna pick up some sweet potatoes from your local store, and just go ahead and peel them. And if you wanna cut them yourself, you can. Uh, however, Chef actually purchased a while back a fry cutter and it makes uh, perfectly even uh, cut french fries, which he really enjoys. So he said if you have a little extra laying around, something to definitely invest in. Chef said you could use this on other vegetables as well, uh, but they make perfectly nice kind of rectangular square cuts. So. After they're cut up, just going to go ahead and put them in a bowl full of cold water. This is just going to remove a little bit of the extra starch on them, make them crispier when uh, you cook them. You can leave them in for about an hour because they do have less starch than your regular Idaho or russet potatoes. Afterwards, however, since we are using oil, you want to really dry these. So take the time to really dry all of them thoroughly. You don't want any moisture on them. And then the next step is very simple, just going to go ahead and get a nice high uh, heated oil like canola or vegetable, chef's using canola, and he's got his copper chef, he's got the oil in, and he's going to bring this up to anywhere between 280 and 300, because he doesn't want to go all over 300. And he's going to just slowly put some of his fries in, just very slowly he said, and you're going to do these for about 3 to 4 minutes and you're going to blanch them. You're going to actually blanch the fries. So lower temperature and you're going to slowly start to cook them. After several minutes, chef's just going to go ahead and remove them. A fork should be able to just slide right into the french fry. It's almost to the point where it's cooked, but they're not. Take all the fries out and then go ahead and raise your oil. And of course, never overcrowd your pan. So Chef has his french fries out, he's going to heat the oil back up to about 350 degrees. And now he's going to go ahead and put some back in slower this time because it's going to be hotter and you don't want the bubbles to overflow. So be very careful of course when you're always frying. So slowly he's going to put these in at 350 and he's going to really start to cook these up now. For several more minutes, about between 5 and 8 he said. You'll see, you'll see them uh, get a nice golden color course move them around so none of them are sticking. After several minutes you're going to really start to see that color darken and this is the point where you can really take them out and continue on with more if you have more to do. Once all your fries have been done and they're crispy just go ahead and get you want to get your honey. This is some local honey uh, right down the road. Pure honey from our uh, local town which Chef loves. And Chef just said the next step is just plate them up. So they're going to have a nice crispy outside and a nice tender inside. Now Chef did the oil this time because he's seen a lot of videos that do oven baked and he wanted to try, you know, frying them because in case someone wanted to actually fry them up. So we do hope you like this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And check out some of our previous videos. And until next time, don't forget everyone, cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it.